For decades, the standard cardboard box has reigned supreme as the main place to store your collection. These blindingly white rectangles probably stir emotions and memories in most of us. Excitement to find out what it holds? Sadness at the memory of an ill-fated trade we wish we could take back? Or dread at the untold hours we will have to spend sorting through all the bulk that hides within? While I too have those feelings when looking at these, I think it's time for an upgrade. And apparently BCW and Ultra Pro agree. Both companies have come out with their own take on an alternative to the boring cardboard box. Here we have the BCW 1600 compartment card bin, and here we have the Ultra Pro 3 drawer, drawer card organizer. I'm not doing it again. I've done a lot of takes. <laughs> Today, we're gonna take a closer look at both. But first, let's talk about card catalogs. A month or so ago, I made a joke about how the holy grail of the Magic the Gathering collector isn't a black lotus, but is a card catalog. Recently, I was trying to understand why card catalogs are so sought after by the card collection communities and why I was so interested in getting one. Obviously, having a large dedicated piece of furniture in my space for my collection is a nice to have, but there had to be something more to it. This is probably obvious to most people who are interested in getting one, but to me, it didn't really hit me until I started to really think about it. And the real reason I'm excited to get something like a card catalog is this. Did you catch it? It's the ability to open the drawer and it just sits there, hovering in space, waiting for you to thumb through its contents and find what you need. These babies don't do that. And to be completely honest, these two are pretty garbage at it as well, but I'll get to that later. Everything else that we have are things that you have to pull out, find a flat surface, put it on, and then you can start going through the contents. This sounds like a little thing, but it can be a pain, especially if you're dealing with a larger collection and you have a lot of containers. I've recently been doing a lot of deck building and I like to do my deck building here at this desk because this is where my computer is. While I like to keep my cards over at my sorting desk here, I was getting tired of grabbing a box of cards, carrying it over to my desk, pulling it out, realizing I had the wrong one, having to carry it back, get the right one, bring it back, realize I didn't have the card in the first place. It was getting to be a pain. And that led me to this. This is the BCW card bin 1600 card bin. I said card bin twice there. It can hold 1600 double sleeved cards though I was able to fit 2200 unsleeved cards in it. It can hold the boulder up to the 100 plus. It also can hold the prism but it's tight. It actually bends the box a little bit. The lid has a lock and it has a handle. It also comes with two dividers and there are slots for the dividers to slot into. You can buy more dividers separately. Here in the front you have two windows to put top loaders into so that way you can mark what is in each row. You can use infinite tokens for this. I actually like to use the double faced placeholder cards that Wizards has been including in sets that have double faced cards. I actually like to just use those. I use a Sharpie and put those in there because I have a ton of them. And if you want to get creative, you can also use art cards in here if you want to make it look pretty. It's entirely up to you. There's a lot of options for this and I really like that they included it and I really like that they included two top loaders for you so that way you didn't have to go out and purchase those if that's something that you don't typically have on hand. This box also has a bigger brother, the 3200 card bin, and it's basically just two of these stapled together. It doesn't have a handle on the top, but they are stackable between each other, so you actually could have one 3200 with two 1600 on top, or what have you. The build quality on the BCW is great. It's sturdy and well made, and while you can bend the walls a bit, it's hard to do so. You can tell they put a lot of thought into the design of the BCW, and it makes it feel sturdier and well put together. I really like how the dividers have slots so they get held firm in the space and they hold your cards up. I can see how some people might not like the dividers having dedicated spots because you might end up in a situation where you have a little bit of wasted space where there aren't any cards, but to be honest, I think there are so many slots that it's not really gonna come up that often. The lock on mine is a little finicky. It sticks sometimes, so that's just something that you may run into. This handle is great. I've actually been hauling it around and it's sturdy. I feel it's fine. In fact, with the handle, I could totally see this being somebody's game night box, something that they use to go out to commander night. I could see somebody having a couple of these and using one as their commander night box, another as their draft kit. This is an excellent option for that. I really like this box. It's very versatile, except in one capacity. Reason why I bought it. This doesn't solve my problem. I still have to pick up the box, carry it over to my space, and then go through it, and then when I'm done, carry it back. And since this is bigger, it's still just kind of 
kind of clunky and doesn't solve the problem I'm trying to solve, at least in a way I would like to. I'm trying to get more of my head in the shot, but my back's killing me. But it is better than a cardboard box. I will give it that. It's great. I really like it, and I'll probably be picking up a couple more and maybe even a 3200. Then, while doom scrolling one day, I found this tweet about the Ultra Pro three drawer compartment organizer. It's one step closer to a card catalog. And the other benefit to it is that you don't have to make a ton of room in your space for a card catalog. You can just get the drawers and put them on your shelf. So when I heard about it, I ran out to try to get it and I was greeted with a whole bunch of not available. I even tweeted at Ultra Pro to see if I could find somewhere that I wasn't looking. Everything was saying not available, not available till August. To make a long story not as long, I signed up for the email notifications so that way I could find out when it became available and lo and behold, a couple of days later, I was able to pick one up. The official information from Ultra Pro says that this can hold a thousand cards or 500 double sleeved. I actually think it can hold more than that. I'm able to get around 800 in each drawer and double sleeved, I haven't checked that, I'll admit, but I think this can hold more than they say, unless they're saying that each drawer can hold a thousand or 500 double sleeved, but it doesn't really say that on the website, at least as of recording, it looked like it was saying that the whole thing could hold a thousand, but I'm pretty sure it can hold more than that. It does come with dividers, but they don't slot into anything. They just kind of sit among your cards. This one has slots in the front like the BCW, but the difference is, is this one doesn't need top loaders. You can use just a basic outer sleeve like from Ultra Pro or Dragon Shield and put a card in that sleeve and then put it in here and it basically works in the exact same way. Also, you can do the same things with the Infinite Tokens, the placeholder cards, or even art cards or other things too. Just get creative with it. I will give Ultra Pro a little bit of credit here because they picked something that most of us, at least in the trading card game space, have a ton of and we don't have to go out and buy anything special if, again, top loaders isn't something you keep around on a regular basis. But I would imagine this is going to vary person to person. The build quality on this isn't as nice as the BCW. You can tell the BCW had more thought put into the design and it's sturdier. It feels sturdier. And this doesn't. This feels not as well put together. I'll be completely honest. But it's adequate and it will protect your cards. So yeah, I guess it's, it's not that big of a negative, to be honest. I just wanted to point it out. Here is the negative. Not to mention that when you pull out a drawer, especially the center drawer, and you put any weight on the front part of it so it, it levers on the edge, it lifts the lid up. And the lid actually comes loose from the clips holding it in place. In fact, you have to give it a good whack to get it to clip back in after the fact. And frankly, cards are going to put that weight on the drawer to cause that lid to lift. So you can get the benefit of a card catalog with this as long as the cards you're looking for are in the front half of the drawers. Anything past that, you should just pull the drawer out and treat it like you would a cardboard box. I realize you could put some books on top of this or stack another on top to keep the lid from doing that lifting when you pull out a drawer, but we shouldn't have to do that. That's solving a problem that shouldn't be there. Yes, I was a little disappointed, but I also recognized that my hopes and what I wanted these things to do were way, way up. I wanted these products to be products that they're not, and I recognize that. But on the whole, these are good products. Also, I didn't stop to think that both of these are first iterations of products that could really be awesome. In fact, what I would like is to take these two products and smash them together. I want the build quality of the BCW in this. And I would love a four row version. That would be fantastic. And if you could figure out a way how to make it so the drawers don't fall out when you pull them out too far, that'd be cool. I love this. I do. Make it drawers. Just make these things drawers that I could pull them out. That would be awesome. I would love that. I know some people could watch this video and think that I'm not recommending these, and I'm not, if you're as deluded as I was and was looking for them to be something that they're not. But individually, they are great products. Yeah, this could use some tweaking, and yeah, this could have some other features that would be nice. But overall, these are great products and I really like them. And I would love to see what comes out of Ultra Pro and BCW after they get some feedback from the audience, like this video. Now, as for my issue and being able to find a place to put my cards, what did I do? Well, 
this is what I did. I found that this old changing table that we had, that we've had for a really long time actually, happens to fit exactly seven 800 count BCW cardboard boxes. Yes, I'm back to the cardboard boxes, but it fits in my drawer perfectly. And I was able to fit even more down here. So I'm able to get my card catalog experience with cardboard. I still recommend the BCW 1600 card bin and the 3200 card bin, as well as the Ultra Pro three drawer organizer. I think they're fantastic upgrades if you are looking for something to replace your cardboard boxes. But if you're looking for a card catalog experience like I was, well, I guess you can check some old furniture you have sitting around. I got caught <laughs> my doorknob. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity one episode at a time.